Okay, everybody, I am so excited today because I am joined by Jaden Martell, Isis Hainsworth, and Adrian Greensmith, the stars of Metal Lords, which is out now on Netflix. We're going to be talking spoilers about the film here, so watch the film first. How are you guys doing today? Very good. I like the shirt. Thank you. I appreciate that. I like the hair. Jaden, you always got these like great hairstyles. You're just crushing and you even crush a cool hairstyle here with uh, Kevin. And what I love about what you do with the character of Kevin is being a drummer myself. I particularly love the scenes where he's learning how to play the drums. You, you do that so well. But I'm wondering in those scenes when you're thinking of how Kevin's going to look physically playing the drums, was there any real drummers in real life you kind of were inspired by for that? Yeah, I, I was definitely looking at a lot of uh Lars Ulrich and um, and my my teacher Glenn Sobel for the for the appearance in the performative aspect of drumming and um, especially towards the end when he's when he is performing. Um, but I don't know the special thing about drumming is that it doesn't really like the whole point is to not give a shit about what you look like. And uh, I really like when, when I was really into it, I just nothing else mattered. It was about hitting the right thing with the with the right amount of energy, you know? Yeah, no, that's good advice for me when I drum now. I, I think I give a shit too much about what I look like. So thank you. I'm going to stop doing that. Um, Isis, uh, people are going to love this relationship. They've already seen the film. They love this relationship with Emily and Kevin. But we can kind of tell when Kevin fell for Emily in the film. But where do you think? Emily fell for Kevin. Was it like the moment she saw him, you think, or was it somewhere else for you? I think it was probably the moment that she saw him, I would say. I think Emily's an outsider in school, and I think she sees that Kevin is also an outsider. And I think, yeah, I think basically for her, it probably started right as soon as he walks into the classroom and talks to her like a normal human being does rather than laughing behind her back or whatever. Yeah, I think that's when that's when it happened <laughs> no I like that and I, I like that you bring up talking to like a normal human being which I thought was a nice little thing in between that attraction which is great point you make and Adrian I think everyone's gonna be talking about I couldn't stop noticing it but in the scene where Hunter and Kevin are in the car together and they're in this car chase there's a moment where Hunter grabs Kevin's knee for a second so I'm running through my head is do you think Hunter had any feelings for Kevin or is that just a knee-jerk reaction in the moment <laughs> knee jerk. Um, very good. Um, I like that, right? <laughs> I love that. I really love that. Um, yeah. So I think when I when I first got the script, the first thing which popped out to me was that Hunter seemed like he was in love with Kevin. But um, I think you know there is. It's not explicitly in the movie. There's like never a scene where Hunter's like, oh. Like, that's what's, I got that. That makes sense now. I don't think he ever has that. So mm -hmm. it's up to the audience to, you know, take what they will from it. But for me personally, I thought that the thing driving him was jealousy, uh, that Emily was giving Kevin something which, which he could, which Hunter couldn't give Kevin. Mm -hmm. And also um, the other thing driving him was there was metal inside him which wanted to rise up and he wasn't letting it rise up. Um, okay. Uh, I love that. That Yeah. And I love that. It's like very subtle, this relationship between them. And I, I love your answer. I think that's just cleared up so much for me. Awesome. And Jaden, you have this huge amount of fan pages and social media, and you're just this huge level of fame at, already at this age. You've done such great things. Is it still like scary for you? Or is it like, do you feel like you're a vet now? Like you're kind of used to it. It's not as like intimidating. Oh God. I, 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 well, I don't know if any of that's true, but thank you. Um, no, I, I, it's so not important to me. It's, it's mm. just about um, the work and, um, and no, it never, it never gets any easier. I definitely do not feel like a, a vet. <laughs> um, and I'm still, I don't know, the special thing about this job is that you continue to learn if you're, you know, if you're open for it and like, working with Adrian and Isis, I, I learned so much and I saw how hard they worked and, and how special they were. So I don't know. I, it, it was, it's always a, a learning experience for me. Yeah. And that, that's awesome that you really do sound like a true artist and it shows in your work. So awesome. And uh, before I let you guys go, Isis, 
you've done the impossible and made cello playing look really cool. So do you plan on still playing cello after this film or you kind of, this is it? I would love to play cello still. I don't have one. I have uh, something I probably shouldn't talk about. Maybe I can talk about it if we're, yeah. Spoilers, yeah, totally. Yeah, I have a, they sent me the one that I used in the Battle of the Bands, which is like the coolest. Oh, amazing. Yeah, so hopefully I'll get to play that at home and yeah, keep on going with it. Yeah, I, I love that. So you heard it from her. That's really cool. little tidbit there. Jaden, Isis, Adrian, thank you guys for joining me today. And everyone check out Metal Lords. It's on Netflix now. And I hope to talk to you guys in the future one day. Thanks, Thank you. Have a good day.